what's going on guys and welcome once again to our channel cool case adventures your central florida family happens to be here at magic kingdom and it's been a while since they've been been here a few weeks a few weeks but in this video basically we're gonna walk around it's around the magic kingdom it happens to be christmas week uh late evening we're gonna check out the crowd level we're also going to talk about the latest updates that Disney Park has brought, mentioning things that will be affecting the Magic Kingdom. So we're going to show it to you guys. It's going to be kind of like a chillax kind of vlog. That's kind you of like my that. style. You I like mean, that, don't you? Like you? That. There you go. Anyway, guys, so if you like this type of content, theme park content, family adventure content, we highly suggest that you consider to subscribe and tingle the like button. If we're sharing any valuable content with you guys, are you ready? Yes. Awesome, because I am. So what are we waiting on? So let's go. But wait, Mom, hit the intro. Mom, hit it. And we happen to be here, like I mentioned, at the Magic Kingdom. It's really hard to get into the Magic Kingdom. Like, don't get me wrong, I love being over here, but just getting into the Magic Kingdom, it's a mission. Yeah. It's a mission. You don't want to do it until you're, until you're, <sighs> until you're here. Then everything changes. So anyway, let's start with merchandise. Let's see what is the newest updates on merchandise that Disney has announced. We happen to be here at Emporium, and a few weeks ago, we, we put it in our video where the 2023 merchandise has arrived, but we have wow. not seen this one yet. This is kind of cute. Very cute. And also, the, mi the mini ears for $34.99. Look at this. They're cute. They are cute. They are really cute. Look at Kyla. $34.99. Oh, rocking them already. Kyla's rocking them already. Look at that. Very nice, Kyla. They also brought the pants. And look at this. That's kind of cute, though. Especially if you buy it. I'm assuming that's the reason why Disney brought it. If you buy it for the New Year's Eve oh, yeah. and you're here, that is super dope to be wearing. You know, that would be pretty cool though. You got so, your own dancing ball. Man, this is getting smarter on this merchandise. And what's crazy is that, is this, is, would you qualify this as Christmas merchandise? Yeah, it's red. But, she has the, look at her ears. Right, but it just, just arrived. Two and, days. Uh, so this is what $54.99? Yes. These pants are kind of cute though. Is that like a pajama or just regular no, pants? pants? Those are pants. Okay. That's very cute it's though. It's cute. I like it. How about that jacket? A mini jacket. It's, it's very 60, pretty. $64.99. Wow. Something you less would not be wearing. Less expensive than spirit. There you go. So I guess a brand new update, Karen. Is it actually today? The day we're obviously recording this video, Disney announced more merchandise for the 50th anniversary. So it's like oh, the wow. last merchandise that they're going to be releasing. So we know that this is going to go all the way to March 31st. And they already said it. They're saying, they're, and they actually gave us a, a couple of samples of the things that are coming out. Sometime between now and the March 31st. At the end of the 50th. So they really, they really know how to run their marketing. Yeah. So one of the things that arrived here sometime this week is the Starbucks cup celebrating the 100th anniversary for, for Disney. 100, 100 year celebration. 49 99. They still have merchandise for the 50th. 50th. They're rolling the 100 year celebration merchandise. They want to make money on both, on both sides. Yeah. 50s have been, you know, it's, are, it's already let it go, done. Let it go. So they truly really know how to make extra money from people, for real. Yes. But in case you didn't know, here in Magic Kingdom and the Emporium, you're able to find everything available for the 100th year celebration. Even popcorn, look at this. Got a spirit jersey. And some of these we already shown you in pre in previous videos when we went to Animal Kingdom but like they're gonna they're gonna continue to release more merchandise as we get closer to January because that's part of that's what they said that is, uh, we're celebrating we're done with exactly now 
If you are interested to find out everything that's going on in the, in the 100 celebration, make sure you subscribe to this channel because Karen, Karen and I will be at the 100 celebration in Disneyland on January 27. Somebody's not happy. Leaving me behind. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done. Planning a vacation can be very exciting, but also very stressful. Sometimes it's hard to plan when you don't have all the answers needed or you are not sure about what process to follow. Trust us when we say it can be very time consuming. This is the reason why we encourage you to contact us and allow us the opportunity to be your travel agents. Cool Case Adventures is affiliated with the PCO Travel, and our main goal is to help you plan your dream vacation so you can create the best memories of your life. Whether you want to go to Disney for an after-hour event, to Walt Disney World, Disneyland, or even to a Disney cruise, we will be able to assist you planning every step of the way. We are certified Disney travel agents, and our knowledge in the parks, restaurants, cruises, and hotels can definitely help with your planning. The best part is that we will not cost you anything extra. Just dare to have your next adventure. And for now, all you have to do is to fill out the questionnaire in the description below, and we will be contacting you right away to start planning your next amazing vacation. It's been a while since that we've seen this photo up. I remember seeing it during Mickey Very Mary's. But right now, for whatever reason, they, they turn it off, which is weird because it was on earlier. So anyway, currently they're showing the holiday projections in the, in the castle. Let's see what they have right now. If you've never been in Magic Kingdom during the holidays, this is one of the things you will be able to enjoy every single night during the Christmas season, of course. Every time that you hear like Tinkerbell, it's so, it's so cute. And the castle changes, the projection changes to another holiday overlay. And it's so pretty to see, trust me. I like it, yeah. The camera doesn't do any justice as of how beautiful that looks. And when you come here a lot, you never get tired of it. That's right. You never get tired of. There's nothing like Christmas in Disney. It is so darn different. A really huge update is here for Space Mountain. Well, other than it's 65 minutes right now. This change happened since the, we actually came here last time, Kyla. Since we came here last time, look at this, the rider storage. They're telling you, you are not longer able to ride with loose items. So all your storages have to be put away. Oh, something happened. Uh, yeah, something happened. So that means that in reality, we can no longer record like we used to. So this is the first ride someone, here. Someone got hit in the head with the phone. Maybe, but so this is the first ride in here in Magic Kingdom that you're not allowed to just carry items while you ride. They cut us off. They cut everyone. So actually, if you want to see a video where we recorded part of the ride here on Space Mountain, I'm going to tag it here, which it was in the Very Merry Christmas After Hour Party. That's the last time I was able to do that, so no more. No longer. Now we have the last video for history purposes. So, huge update. And Kyla and I arrived just on a good time. And they're currently testing Tron. Now, the question is, Kyla, do you think the Tron is going to be like a uh, space mountain? I, um... No loose items? Probably from what we're just seeing now, probably. You think so? I think so. All right, let's see, look. Things coming again, look at it. That is pretty cool. I want to ride it at night. I think at night will be super cool, I don't think. Go I think it'll it. be super cool at night, but like, I'm just excited for this thing to open because this thing has been working since we started this channel. And it's <laughs> four almost years, been four years. Four years ago, right? But I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm like everybody, I'm excited about it. You know, it's been taking a long time though. But seeing it in person is completely different though. I know. This, this, yeah, Kyla was like, I don't know. I don't I know about Tron. Dad, I was telling dad, like, it's kind of funny. I've been making fun of Tron for almost four years, but now looking at it like this part, I want to ride it. I'm like excited. I know, I'm excited, I'm excited too, so. To ride it. Uh, I'm sorry, Tron, for making fun of you. They're currently years. saying, spring of 2023 we shall oh, see hopefully by your birthday in march maybe that will happen if it so. comes out on my birthday 
and this is a good ride. We're doing it. We're, it's happening. Look. Bye, Tron. Another one. I look so good. I'm actually excited. Let's see what other update we have. Yeah, it's been closed because of Tron. So, in another, in another quick update, I'm happy to announce that Disney actually confirmed this will be opening sometime early 2023. Some people are already saying maybe by the first of the year, like this is great because January 1st, but I don't remember the train ride at all. So. I used to ride at all the time. Comment down below if you're like me, who is a huge fan of this uh, train and ride it all the time just for fun. So I cannot wait. I, 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 once it opens, we'll be back over here because it's so peaceful to be riding that train. I can't wait. I can't wait. I know they've been testing it. I don't remember. They've been testing it already, so that you know will be I'm cool. I'm excited for. I'm excited when we go on that train and we see the like the front shot of Magic Kingdom. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty. And while we've been standing here, Trump continues to go on a loop, testing and testing. Just test riding and test riding. That's cool though. Holiday crowds are definitely here, so yes. because we're heading towards the Big Thunder Mountain area, we're definitely gonna go through this side over here. This the less crowded, the less crowded this bridge. Normally it's less crowded. Currently at a 45 minutes in standby, which is not bad for the Christmas week, to be honest with you. It's gonna get progressively worse. But big update on Big Thunder Mountain is that it's gonna be on refurbishment starting on January 9th. And I believe it goes all the way to uh, January 13th. January 13th. Which like is not bad. You. It's yeah. not bad, not bad. You knew that? Yeah. Of course you knew that. Yeah. So if you're planning to come to Walt Disney World during that time frame, make sure that you look at uh, those days because you may not be able to ride it. I mean, sometimes they give you that time frame. Sometimes they bring it up before. That has seen, uh, that had happened in the past. But um, to, for now, it's January 9th to the 13th. You're looking at the last few days of Splash Mountain. As it has been officially announced that starting on January 22nd, that last day will be January 22nd. Almost there, we, a month. We are sad, but um, we're not going to be riding this because the temperature is cold now and it's going to be dropping. And We don't do what Kyla wants, we do what the viewers want. So comment down below if you want the whole family riding that in January prior yes, to closing. I'm happy. Comment down below. Like January 22nd, right now we have reservation. Unfortunately, we do have a, a wedding on that day. So we don't know if we're gonna have time, but we may be able to figure something out. January 22nd, it will be shut down. Estimated time, actually, they say that it could be up to a year and a half because they had to convert all, all that. So it's, it, they're redoing everything. I'm still getting a lot of the structure and a lot of the rain, but I thought it was going to be like longer. I thought it would be longer. Now, they're saying about a year, a year and a half. Well, they, they're saying 2024. But I mean, 2024. Like it could be 2027. But if they, if they go by, if they, if they hire the same construction company as Tron, 2020, 2029. If we want to graduate. So this is being converted into Tiana's Bayou. I'm excited for that though. I want, like, I'm, I like the original and the classics, don't get me wrong, so it's gonna be a bittersweet for me. Yeah. But I'm excited to see the new. I'm I like to progress. See Tiana to have her own thing. I'm really excited. You know, since they have this, there's a restaurant right there. I think they should change it to Tiana and we get that like beignets. Yeah. That would oh, be an excellent stand. idea. Yeah. And they like sell beignets. The restaurant or the stand. Why why beignets. does Disney doesn't do like Disneyland? Disney <clears throat> They they could uh, Kyla's right, they could convert pickles. Tortuga? Yeah, Tortuga. Disney, I think, I think you should hire me. I know I'm young. No, I don't know about that. I'm a good person. Like, or they can, can just do the stand right in front of Pecos as a little stand and make it a beignet stand. That's that Ooh, too. they do that. I, th I think they could have actually easily do uh, Tiana's Bayou in California because it does make more sense for yeah. them over there since they had the, 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 the Tiana's already. Yeah, yeah, like the New Orleans feel. Yeah. And over here, they should have left Splash Mountain because, you know, keep the original. So you have something new to look forward to in both parts. So I, I don't know. They should have done it that way. 
But now that they're moving fast and furious with our project, they definitely need, they need to, to do. They need to bring Bayang. They need to do something with Pecos, definitely. Oh dang! We were considering riding Pirates, but now it's a 45 minute away. I think we'll leave it for another day, honestly. Hola, we're back. Alrighty, guys, so there you have it here from the Magic Kingdom. I hope you enjoyed this quick update around the Magic Kingdom. I know it wasn't much, but hey, we just want to keep you up to date on all that information. But it was kind of like cool to like have a chill night, right? Yeah. Yes, it was very exciting. Hey, I'm, I'm excited for Tron. That's what I've been okay. really excited about. But I'm glad we had a nice chill day because usually we're all rush, rush. So rush, rush, running, nice. running. Yeah. Nice chill day. I think that we do miss Kalal, no, but I, <laughs> I think that should be our new goal for 2023. When we go out Kalel. vlogging, no, when we go out for <laughs> vlogging, we're just gonna go very chill, no, not running all the time. I think that I, I think that should be our cool. new year's resolution. When we do that, it stresses everybody out. Everybody I know, out, like me. <laughs> but enough of that. You know what I'm Anyway, guys, sadly, this adventure has ended, but with, the, with that said, we gotta remind everybody to subscribe, jingle that like button, and turn on that bell for notification. Bing, 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 and feel free to comment down below. <laughs> feel free to comment down below. Always remember to smile out, be great, be cool, and stay awesome. See you guys, see you guys next adventure. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Boom, boom. See ya. Bye.